Welcome. My name is Amina and I'm your decision making specialist. I was listening to some researchers in the area of compassion. They were talking about health care and the, the need for compassion that the doctors now had so much um, medical training so much technology, so much information about health and medicine that they no longer had to depend on just the humanness that they did before. One doctor was saying, well, in the beginning and, and not too long ago, there wasn't enough information at their fingertips. And so they would fill that gap with their caring because that's what they had. That was the tool, was the compassion for their parent, patients. And what the researchers discovered is that so often now the doctors lean toward the health and the medicine and the science and the technology because they believe that they're helping their patients more. Well, the researchers said that that is absolutely essential. And this is what they discovered. In the midst of that, the average healthcare person interrupts the patients at about the 11 second marker. So mostly they haven't even heard the patient say all that they wanted to say. And when they, people would talk to the healthcare professionals about compassion, they would say that they went into this field because they care. And yet, a lot of times believed that the kind of compassion that was being talked about by the researchers and by people that were, were coming to consult and teach them more about compassion because they didn't get it in medical school, they got medicine. And what happened is they said, well, we can't. We have restrictions of how long we can see patients. And if we do that compassionate stuff, then it's not that we don't care. It's just going to take so much time. And then we're going to be behind on our schedule. So more research was done by people. And you know what? They discovered that the compassion actually can take a whopping, are you ready? 46 seconds as the meeting with the patient is going on. Just listening, just letting the patient know that they were heard. 46 seconds, and I thought, wow. And this is just about the medical field because that happened to be what I was listening to. And I was thinking, well, that's good information. How can we apply it to our lives? And I talked to one of my clients about it, and here's how she applied. Periodically, she has an emoji, and she will send that emoji to pretty much everyone that's close on her list. And she will just say, I'm thinking about you. And maybe this sounds like cheating. It doesn't matter because it's real for her. And she copies thinking of you, hope you're having a smooth day. And she will paste that to the message part of the emoji. So that click, 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 click. Everyone she's close to gets that message. So they know that she is thinking about them. 
maybe she pasted the message. However, she was definitely thinking about them or she wouldn't have, have done that. And she said it took her less than 46 seconds per person. So I'm wondering if you considered, hmm, what can I do in 46 seconds or less to show somebody to let them know they're not invisible, they matter to me, and I'm thinking about them. Matter of fact, I'm thinking about them and I took action on it. Raising my hand, how often do we think about someone and move on? Well, she has found a way to be thinking about them with a click. She tells them as she's moving on. Think about it, 46 seconds. What could you do? What could you be? How could you act with compassion, with caring, with acknowledgement to another person? Just a thought, just an offering. See what happens. Take care and take care of anyone around you that you can. Pay attention, 46 seconds. All right, and please come back. I will be here, and I will be watching for you. Thanks, and meanwhile, bye for now.